Good day, friends, and welcome to another episode of Tanker Cad TV. Once again, friends, these episodes are designed to entertain and inspire, so let's get cracking. Friends, today we have got another wicked cool tank. This is from Leo at Loud and Lifted Customs. As you can see, we've got notes. I'm going to shut them off for a second. I'm also going to hide this for just a second. It is a spin-off of a creation by Viral Funk Pumpkin. And that is why you can find his name in the description as well. Friends, let's turn on the notes and let's see what this is all about. All right, so first, this is a flotation device inspired by the M4 Sherman swimming tanks of D-Day, except they are 100 times larger and taller for protection. That is a cool idea. I'm going to hide it so we can see the tank better, though. I am also going to quickly get rid of the grid, and I'm going to make that background a different color so it's easier to see as well. The ZE M8A. 2A1 Greyhound is a 6th generation main battle tank designed by Sparks Innovations and named for the long nose of the Greyhound. If we zip out here to the nose, I'm going to zoom in on it, we have got custom muzzle brakes built with silencers and it resembles a Greyhound's head and it will reduce recoil and sound by almost 59%. That's awesome. The speed velocity of a shell for this railgun text is about 4,600 miles per hour. That's faster than a cheetah, which is 50 to 80 miles per hour. Here we have the Greyhound Insignia and Fume Extractor. The Hun's main choice weapon is a single barrel railgun. It has a built-in gun stabilization system and an enhanced AI autoloader. Sweet. It is manned by a crew of three, plus all the AI systems. If we zoom in right here, you can check out the headlights. They help by navigating through the brink of war. Awesome. Love these logos too. As we spin around right here, we can find the driver's vision port. It also allows the driver to see at least a full 90 degrees. Right here we can find the motto. As you can see, this says everything for Germany. We need to look underneath for this one. This is the armored plaster on bulkhead. It's used to protect the belly from landmines and other ground-bearing explosives. That's sweet. One of the multiple tungsten steel spare track links. In case of breakage, it's not just extra armor. This is one heck of a beast. Here we have the extremely highly classified battle armor. At least 5,000 times the protection of the whole Abrams. And here we're noting because it's made of tungsten steel, you have to take out the tracks to even have a shot to get at the operator. Moving up on the tank, right here we got side cam sensors that will notify the operator who and what is on top or the outside of the hull. There are two of these in total. The eyes that you see are called IR Dazzlers. They're designed to mess with infrared tracking systems or guidance systems such as anti-tank guided missiles. That's sweet. On top, we've got a Defense Spotlight, the CDL. It's a powerful carbon arc searchlight and was intended to be used to blind the enemy permanently. That's not very friendly, but it is war. And friends, here we have a female furry that's shown so we have a scale of how large the Greyhound is. As we spin to this side, we have got two guided missiles meant to strike all kinds of vehicles such as APCs, IFVs, and MBTs, aircraft, watercraft, and more. And here we've got missiles. Check it out. These little buggers will destroy a T-80U in one single shot. And there's a lot of them. The X-51 is one of the most advanced weapon systems succeeding AA technology capable of taking on large threats. And right here we've got one of the two Death Adder anti-tank guided missile systems capable of taking out any lightly armored tank or truck. 
This is the location of the operator responsible for controlling navigation, scrambling, hunting, and spotting equipment on board. He's responsible for the tank's choice of armaments and navigation, as well as synchronizing between his team. This is the location of the operator's IFR cam rangefinder. It is a device used to measure distances of remote objects. Here we have a military graded VSAT scrambler dish. And right here there is a belt fed heavy machine gun nest. Fires at a rate of 485 to 635 rounds per minute to a range of 2000 meters and is aimed by the commander. These side shot launchers will aid the tank by smoking straight out of the battlefield. That's cool. These dual GAU 105s are a hungry beast and will take out every enemy target that the VSAT scrambler detects with these wicked cool M134 miniguns. It is powered by the Avco Lycoming AGT 1500 multi fuel turbine engine, developing 1500 horsepower. Essentially, it's a modified helicopter engine. Wow! Here in the rear, we have auxiliary fuel tanks. It enables this pooch to go 500 miles on land. And in the very rear, we have got multi-fuel nuclear state-of-the-art propulsion system to also propel her through the water. That's so cool. And here, friends, we have the anti-tank AI guided missile designed to burn a hole straight through the extremely armored H01 Paladin that we did a shout out of just a little while back. Friends, I'm going to shut off those notes one more time and let's just do a quick spin around of this wicked creation by Leo of Loud and Lifted Customs. It is an absolutely fabulous creation, Leo, and once again, thanks so much for sharing with us. Friends, remember, if you ever make something awesome and want to share it with me, it is so simple. Click this button, generate a link, and then copy that link. And then you can reach out and share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, Gmail, and TikTok. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. Of course, if those options don't work for you, don't forget you also have HLModTech.com. I have got the sweet webpage dedicated to Tinkercad. And then down at the bottom, a sweet messaging tool. You can add your question, comment, or suggestion and reach out to me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to highlight the Tinkercad community discord. As you can see, there are more than 400 members and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Please also remember we have the designer showcase with tons of amazing profiles. Friends, when you click on these, you'll instantly see the designs of all the users sorted by likes. I always like to remind you it's pretty cool to sort by recent. Of course, if you do see something you think is awesome, make sure you give it a reaction. Finally, friends, if you have something you think I should be showing on Tinkercad TV, don't forget there is a request a shout out button on this website. Of course, if you need a tutorial, it's included as well. Friends, as I wrap up this episode of Tinkercad TV, I want to say thanks again to Leo for sharing this wicked cool creation. And I want to say thanks to Viral Funk Punk for making projects that users can copy and tinker. And of course, friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.